Hey babes, excuse the slightly hoarse nasally voice, I'm just getting over a cold but the beauty reviews must go on. And right now I am going to be lip swatching all 8 shades of the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. Now as with a lot of drugstore products and lip ranges, the number of shades in each country may vary. So in Singapore, these are the 8 that are available. A little bit of background before I begin, most people may be a bit more familiar with the Superstay Liquid Lipstick which looks something like this and uh, of course these are special edition tubes by a Louisiana artist called Ashley Longshore so they did a recent collab, Maybelline and Ashley, to come up with these five limited edition tubes. These are five of Maybelline's best selling colours in the liquid lipstick range. So if you've used it before, these are very thick full coverage long wear liquid lipsticks that do not transfer once they dry down. They also have uh, a slightly heavier feel on the lips and a slightly tacky texture as well after it dries down so this may not be everyone's cup of tea. Hence why Maybelline decided to come out with the pencil format, this sort of like chubby stick form which has a much lighter feel, a slightly lighter texture, maybe not quite as much coverage and opacity as these liquid ones but also a, a more comfortable finish on the lips for people who may not like the liquid format. Now unlike the liquid superstays uh, which promise 16 hours of wear, these promise up to 8 hours and they are supposed to be smudge proof and butt proof as well and uh, I have tried these on for a few days already. They do last, they don't really transfer too much but they do transfer just a little bit in my experience. So if you are drinking, eating, a tiny bit will come off but most of it does stay intact on your lips even though uh, it doesn't quite look like the butt proof kind. These might be just a tiny bit closer to the really old school transfer proof lipsticks a la Revlon Colorstay, you know the first generation kind. So if you have a vague memory of your mom or aunts or family members using that one, uh, you may be somewhat familiar with what this one is like. Now because I've worn these for a couple of days so far, I can verify that they do not bleed outside the lip line, they do not just disappear with eating, drinking, talking. They do stay on for a fair amount of time. Not as hardcore as the liquids obviously, but they do a decent job of staying for most of the day unless you're really rubbing your mouth or eating something really oily. I wouldn't exactly call them moisturizing feeling but they are definitely nowhere near as drying as traditional non-transferring liquid lipsticks feel so they are in my opinion pretty comfortable to wear. I'm gonna go into the lip swatches from lowest to highest number but before I begin I do also want to point out that these have quite a distinct and rather strong fragrance. Um, it's scented a little bit like some sort of a vanilla-ish dessert, maybe some coconut creme brulee kind of a thing. Um, not entirely unpleasant, but if you are sensitive to fragrances again in your products, then you may want to take note of that.
the whole world at our feet. Now we're down to the last shade, 65, Settle for More. And I'm going to show you guys how you can wear this sheer for a slightly different look and effect. And then I'm going to apply it full on so you can see the difference. Watching seasons change, our roads were lined with adventure. see quite a big difference between when it's sort of blotted off as a stain and when it's really applied full on. This is very much more vampy, more dramatic and I really do love this colour. Of course with some of these softer, more neutral, natural shades, you won't see so much of a visual difference between when it's worn sheer and when it's worn full on like this. However, it also means that with these softer shades, if they were to kiss off slightly or wear down a little bit throughout the day, it wouldn't actually be that noticeable. Now what do I think of the line? I love the comfort level, I love how weightless it feels on the lips. If you really do not enjoy the texture and the feel and the cakiness of those thick matte liquid lipsticks, then this might be something for you to explore. Also, despite the fact that there are only 8 colours available on Singapore, I do quite like the shade selection that they have. They have some soft neutrals all the way to a couple of brights and then some deeper, more sultry shades. Uh, if I had to say what's missing in this line, it would probably be a nude nude, a more beige nude that is not so pinky toned and maybe some orangey peachy tones and a true brown. There isn't much of a brown in here. They do have some great reds though. Now out of all the eight shades that I tried, I would say the only color that gave me a little bit of a problem would be 40 and this one is Laugh Louder. This is that really vibrant coral orangey red which somehow goes on a little patchier and streakier than any of the other shades. It almost seemed to dry down really, really fast. So as I was trying to smooth it on and build up more color, I found that the lipstick tube itself was kind of grabbing and removing previous layers of lipstick that I had applied that had dried down already. So I was having a little bit more problems building this up to opacity and making sure there were no uneven patches. Other than this one shade, I really do like a lot of the deeper, duskier, stronger shades in the line as well as the nude. So I don't have a bad thing to say about any of the other colors. If there is one thing that I would love to see in the ink crayon line, it would be that Maybelline would expand the shade range to something similar to that of the liquid lipsticks because those come in some beautiful colors. But I have to say that's not my favorite liquid lipstick formula for everyday wear just because of how thick and how heavy and slightly tacky it is. That is it for my very quick lip swatch and overview of the new Maybelline ink crayons. Maybe not entirely new because I was a little bit tardy with this one, but as always, I hope you guys found this helpful and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!